my internship was at the Midnight Daily Post because I'm an aspiring journalist. My responsibilities and duties at my internship was, first of all, uh, the first thing I ever did was I created a buy menu arts and a buy menu menu, buy menu music calendar. And what that pretty much is, is it goes online and in the actual paper. And what it is, is you just list a bunch of venues with all their um, artists and musicians that are going to be there. Um, and then I also updated seasonal calendars. Like I created two calendars while I was here that was like uh, Halloween happenings and a holiday calendar. So for those, I would talk about all the different events that were going to go around, go on around the Gwinnett area and the Metro Atlanta area. Uh, whether it be like I had to talk about the Trump retreat that was happening at multiple high schools around Gwinnett. I was talking about some holiday festivals that were happening at some museums down in Metro Atlanta. Um, also, I got the right full on articles. Uh, just today, actually, I wrote a 20 inch article that's actually going to be published in uh, one of the first two or three pages of the paper and also going to be online. So it was my big article for today. Um, I also wrote the weekly Gwinnett Gap, which is a tiny section in the weekend paper. And that's just three or four main events that are happening around Gwinnett that people need to be informed about and just know what's going on around Gwinnett. Um, also, another big that I had was having to call people and give phone to phone interviews about additional information. Uh, so what I do, every time we read anything that's going to be published, they have to send in a press release. So if the press release didn't have sufficient information in the press release, I would have to call them and get quotes, uh, more facts, maybe pricing information and stuff like that. Um, while I'm, as of today, I worked 57 hours and 45 minutes at my internship. Um, I started my sixth week of school and I'm gone. Today was my last day for the semester and I will be there next semester as well. Um, just to let you know that I wasn't making this up, here's one of my articles that actually got published. You can search him up on Google. Yes, if you, you go on, if you go on the Gwinnett News Post website and search Zach Miles, I have about 10 to 12 articles that are online and then a bunch of other stuff that just says from staff reports. Um, but here's one of my articles about the Children's Museum of Atlanta. Uh, they just recently uh, had their grand opening celebration and I had to write a six to eight inch article about what the big celebration was going to be about and what's going to happen at the celebration. Uh, personal future, I learned that journalism is definitely the route that I want to go. Uh, not specifically in the print journalism route, but I want to be a broadcaster, that's my big thing. But this has definitely helped me with, you know, just writing and knowing how to become a journalist and what it means to write about factual information, what the information you have to research, and like, it's a full job pretty much. You have to do personal research on your own. It's not just stuff that comes in the press release. And it definitely helps to know that print journalism is always there for me. I, just because I want to be a broadcaster doesn't mean I like print journalism as well. I loved my internship experience. It was awesome. But broadcast is the route for me. Uh, the hiring outlook, uh, newspaper writers, there's 129,100 jobs approximately in the US. Um, between now and 2022, there's only a 3% hiring job increase. It's not too much of a great. But for reporters, broadcasters, and news, news analysts, there's a 57,600 jobs in the US with a negative 13% job decrease. So the jobs are a little bit more tougher in the broadcasting field, which all, it'll be good to always have a writing journalist uh, back, back up plan. Uh, my experience, definitely the most memorable experience was seeing my first article online and in the paper. Uh, I know my mom, she started like crying when she saw my paper. <laughs> she saw my article in my paper. It was a big Aww. thing for my family. It was really good. She should see it. <laughs> um, <laughs> another awesome memorable experience is just being able to like go on the Gwinnett Daily Post website, type in Zach Miles and see my articles there. It's pretty cool. It's like just that personal accomplishment and feeling that, wow, I actually got something that got published in an actual full-fledged newspaper. Uh, personal growth, uh, like I said, I know how to write an effective article now. It really, my mentor was awesome. She would critique me very, very hardly. She would tell me like pointers, how to make my article better. Like, it, Before going into this, I didn't realize how many minor details there are in writing. And from this, I just learned a lot. Um, and giving an effective phone interview, like I said, that was big because you don't really, like the first time I had my interview, I stuttered. I was like, oh God, what's going on? <laughs> but um, after a while, you get used to it and you know what to get out of the person that you're trying to contact. And then create a defense calendar as well. Uh, thank you.